what is going on everybody my name is star lord i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day i'm having a really good day today and i am about to get my grind on i'm gonna be the best superhero in this game well i'm not actually really because i'm really poop at this game but we're actually gonna be talking about the brand new update for superhero training simulator on roblox in today's video now guys before we get into this i would like to just give a quick shout out to everybody who's in the background right there these are all my subscribers you guys are awesome thank you very much for coming into my game and being so nice today and uh, also guys we're now at around about 300,000 subscribers on the channel so please if you haven't already subscribed click that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on notifications for daily roblox super training sat power simulator videos come back to the channel to keep on checking out on what videos i have for this game and also one really cool life thing that happens in this game is I actually got partners I am now a partner in this game how cool is that that is really cool I thought it was awesome uh, but anyway like I said today we're gonna be talking about the brand new update in superpower training simulator and the one that I'm talking about is specifically going to be the one about gods and monsters now I don't know if you guys know about this but a brand new world is coming to this game where you can actually Actually go through and go to a completely different dimension or world that's what they're calling it a different world but I think it'd be kind of better if it would be called a dimension right like do you guys agree with that would you prefer it to be world or dimension comment down below right now quick right now guys world or dimension which one would you actually prefer for it to be called uh, but other than that though we're gonna be talking about the different kind of things that we're gonna be finding in this world and uh, what we can expect when the new update actually arrives so that's actually gonna be pretty cool too so the first thing that we actually got a kind of a hint about is the fact that there may be gods and monsters in these worlds now I don't know particularly what this means but a lot of people have been speculating or kind of talking about whether gods and monsters mean a rank for a person so for example you know now when you actually protect people you become a protector and a guardian and everything like that well what if if you protect so many people you actually become classed as a god um, other than that though if you kill too many people too many innocents you will be classed as a monster you know so maybe that is what they mean by this but the cool thing would be if they actually added in gods and monsters to this game as npcs now we have been told that there's going to be new items added into this game where we'll be able to wear them and enchant them and i think off the top of my head if that's the case we may actually be able to wear items that increase our movement speed, our body toughness, our jump force, our psychic power, all that kind of stuff a little tiny bit more. And we also did actually have, I think, a confirmation that we will find that there's brand new in-game currency being added into the game. How crazy is that? So basically, now that we have these tokens down here, we'll actually get another currency to spend, which will most likely be, you know, like credits or... I don't know, something along those lines where we can actually go to a store inside the game. We can actually go inside it and buy these items such as, you know, um, necklaces that increase our, like, psychic power, uh, gloves that increase our, like, punching power and everything like that. And I assume that it's actually going to be inside this little shop right here. So as you can see, there's actually this shop where there's, like, a, like, I, I guess you can go inside and purchase guns and stuff like that. But I feel like eventually, once the update actually comes, they're going to create a different room in here and make it so when you go inside, you can actually purchase things like items, weapons, all that kind of stuff to actually add on into your game. Now, of course, you know, this isn't 100% confirmed, guys. This is just purely me speculating, but I feel like that would actually be really cool if they did something with that place, because as of right now, like, there's nothing that really happens inside of it, you know? And they really need to do more with these different kind of, like, kind of, I guess, these houses and buildings and everything. Because, for example, we've got this one building right here, um, which is, you can go inside of it, which is really strange. Like, oh, wait, no, I went too far. Okay, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, oh, there you go. Okay, I'm nearly inside. Okay, wait, nope, nope. Can I, can I please get inside, sir? Um, okay, I am now officially stuck, stuck under the, am I stuck here? Why can I not fly? Why can I not fly? Oh, there you go. Okay, right. If I could just fly out really quickly and then go back inside, you can actually see that you can actually get inside 
Oh god, I swear to you, I, I am like the worst flyer ever. I can't even get inside, there you go. Okay, so you, you could actually get inside of it. And what I thought would be really cool is if the developer actually edited all of this so that it was actually a big shop that you could go in and each one of these tables, he redecorated them so there was one item here, one item there, and you know, one item here and everything. I think that would be really, really cool. I mean, honestly, it would make great use for this space because like I said, you know, there is genuinely nothing really much that you can use this place for other than just kind of glitching inside of it and going around oh hey this dude died yo cheerful stefana stefana yo you died bro what are you doing get up off the floor you silly bean um but like i said you know i think it'd be really really cool hey what is that oh, okay nothing it was must have been like part of his body or something um but other than that though they're the only two places that i know you can get inside of besides from this little truck stop over here now unfortunately once again i don't think this is actually of any value like there's nothing really much that this truck shop does but in the future you never really know it may be something in the future where like they add it in or something like that because eventually well originally you see this little place over here this was actually a little glitch area that you could glitch inside and not many people knew but before this was added this was actually like an open space where you could go inside and walk inside and everything uh, but not many people knew about it and um, after like a couple of updates they actually added in an area where you could go inside and go and use like your you know body toughness and everything like that and that's actually something really cool too because will after the Halloween update will this be changed like will this all be like moved and everything or will he keep it in this one spot um i'm not too sure but i do actually get a lot of body toughness from here i get 2 million from here 40 million from here that's insane so that's pretty cool um damn i get like a lot from here that is insane dude holy poop and uh, as you guys can see i actually have 20,000 tokens too which is really cool i'm actually gonna be doing a little giveaway of that in the future guys so if you do actually stay tuned throughout all of my videos you're the guys who are most likely going to win more tokens in the future and everything like that so if you made it this far into the video guys please comment down below right now um let's see a uh, santa santa poopy head or something like that i don't know some random word like that santa poopy head right now if you made it this far in the the actual video itself and uh, you know if you actually do watch all the way through my videos at the end some point like like seven minutes in eight minutes in or something i'll ask you guys to comment like a certain word in the videos and uh, yeah whoever gets like uh, it correct i'll choose a random winner from all the people who did it correctly if you leave your in-game name i will actually go into your game and send you some of these tokens to actually gift you now unfortunately i cannot use those tokens right there but i can buy some tokens which I have been doing lately like yesterday. I bought this amount of tokens Um, I think I can't really buy any more tokens today to be honest. Yeah, I I, I really need to buy more of uh, Robux or something but yesterday I think I bought 60 I think it was like 60 pounds worth of Robux or something just to spend on this game to get my multipliers up to 1,000. So that was really, really cool. Um, so hopefully, you know, I can do a couple of giveaways, guys, where you, uh, you know, you get some free uh, tokens and stuff like that. All you have to do is keep on coming back to my channel every day, watch my videos, all that kind of stuff, participate in the little words kind of quiz, and uh, yeah, I guess... We can pretty much go from there because uh, I really want to start doing more giveaways, especially Robux giveaways on my channel. So, uh, you know, do not miss out on that. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking what's up with this face cam. Well, basically, I really badly hurt my uh, shoulder or my neck the other day. And for some reason, I'm like leaning. I don't know if you guys have totally could tell in this video, but my head is kind of tilted in this, whereas my body's normal. And I'm in like a lot of pain right now. It's, it's taking a lot for me not to like shout out loud. Um... But basically, until my neck is better, I'm going to be using this face cam just for a little while because my face is currently, like, I've got, like, a really bad face on because I'm currently in pain and you can just see how much pain I'm in, judging by my face. So, uh, in the next couple of days, I am going to keep this face cam on, but eventually I will change it for you guys. So, do not worry about, hey, who is this? Do not worry about it, guys. I will eventually change it. So, yeah. Who is this guy? Flygon. Oh, it's Flygon. He could be running around or he could be standing. So still, 
He's invisible. Like Drax, the destroyer. So yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, I would like to say, what do you think is going to be coming in the gods and monsters world? Do you hope that it's actually monsters that we can go in and kill once we're inside the portal? Or do you think that it's going to be, you know, new ranking system where, you know, if you kill so many people, you'll become a monster or you save so many people, you will become a god. I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. I would love to know. Thank you. Uh, but other than that, guys, I would like to just say thank you very much for everybody who watched today's video if you did enjoy it Please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more roblox giveaways content videos all every day in the future and uh, Yeah, without further ado guys until next time. I've been Star Lord oh, See you. Bye guys <laughs>